All right, this is an audio enth uh, auto enthusiast dream. It's coming to Southern California next, next weekend, so fast and fierce. It inspired Fuel Fest, and it's coming to Irwindale next Saturday. The event features live music, drifting, and ride-alongs, and more than 600 rare and exclusive cars. Joining us with a preview is Fast and Furious franchise star Cody Walker. Hey. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're so excited to have you. So just give us an overview of what we're going to see when Fuel Fest comes to Irwindale next weekend you know I always say it's a uh, it's a celebration of the car culture um, so if you like uh, car shows if you like motorsports if you like a concert it's uh, it's all there at fuel fest and uh, it's it's just an, an incredible event I'm very fortunate to be able to continue doing these shows all across the country and we're returning to LA which is where it all started five years ago at uh, at Irwindale a lot of history there we love Irwindale Speedway yeah, tons of history. We're taking a look at some of the video here. So tell us a little bit about the racing action that fans are going to see because you have someone from a pro Formula One drifter coming here. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, we've got Matt Field at the show. Um, we've we've had a lot of pro FD Formula Drift drivers at the show, and you can actually sign up to do ride alongs with some of the pro drivers, um, just like you're seeing on the screen there. It's it's really, really cool. Um, we do have a top 16 drift competition towards the end of the day. And to spice it up a little bit, we threw some monster trucks in there this year. So that's going to be a, a new sight to see uh, at Fuel Fest on the 3rd. I'm curious if you drive for real or just uh, play one. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> um, so what I do, I do more, uh, they call grip racing. I do road course driving. Um, I'm not a hardcore race car driver. It's more of a gentleman driving type of thing. I go and do track days. Uh, what you're seeing on the screen is, is what's referred to as drifting. Uh, yeah. You're intentionally throwing your car into a drift, and I, I don't think that there's really uh, uh, a style of racing that is more uh, visually stunning than drifting. It really is yeah. awesome, especially when they're going tandem. I think we all kind of, once Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift came out, that just kind of took it to the next level, right? I mean, that's where the movies certainly have an impact on what we see uh, in our culture. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, the franchise has been around now for over 20 years and it's definitely made a lasting per impression on the on uh, gearheads uh, across the world. I think it's yeah. spawned, you know, multiple generations of them as well. It's got a lot of people interested in the cars that otherwise might not have been. So yeah. it's a uh, pretty neat. So fun to watch. OK, but Fuel Fest is not just cars. There's also live music and some special guests you have to tell us about. That's right. Well, I'll be there, of course, uh, as will Tyrese. Um, you know him as uh, Roman Pierce from the Fast and the Furious films. We've, we've, we've done a lot of these shows together, co-hosting them. We have a, an absolute blast. I love him to death. He's insane. I love him to death. He's so much fun. He brings so much energy. Um, and we've had, we've had drop-bys by uh, Vin and Sung Kang and uh, Ludacris over the years. You, you really, you, you never know who you're going to see, but we are in LA after all, yeah. so you this are. this is a really big show for us. Yeah. So um, you never know who else might drop by. That's Such all I can good say about point. that. Some cameos. All right. So you mentioned exactly you know right. you are in LA, really special place. Also, LA does deal with uh, a growing number of dangerous street racing racing acts. You know we have a lot of those here, and some say it's inspired by Fast and the Furious. So I want to know if you have any message to fans about racing and Fuel Fest and just street racing. Yeah, street racing isn't cool. I mean, ultimately what I'll say is people are responsible for their own actions. Um, and what we're doing with Fuel Fest though is we, we are creating a safe, responsible place for people to uh, come and get some of that out of their system. Uh, we don't condone street racing whatsoever. Um, this is, Fuel Fest is where you can come um, safely enjoy the spectacle of the racing and even go for ride-alongs in the cars and uh, and meet other gearheads or motorheads or people that just love the movies. Um, yeah. I think that's what's so cool about our shows is we bring out people that have never necessarily been to a car show or motorsporting event before and um, and they're just blown away and we're kind of we're helping to cater to to building building up the community more and more and getting everybody under under one roof to celebrate their love of cars, all makes and all models. This is not a 
genre specific type show this sure. is just for the love of the culture yeah and it's important if you ever want to go racing there are plenty of tracks where you can rent some time and do some, you know get your adrenaline pumping in a safe way uh, we do, i do want to talk about some personal stuff here you just welcome a third son uh, named after your late yeah. brother paul who all of us we loved so much how are you continuing paul's legacy not only of course with the name uh, the name congratulations by the way yeah congrats uh, but how are you how are you you know continuing that legacy Thank you so much. Yeah, on the 30th, we welcomed our, welcomed our third child into the world. Um, he's doing great. We named him Paul Barrett Walker. Aww, um, that's his little him. brother right there. Colt, he's, he's, he loves being a big brother now. Um, so, yeah, very, very blessed, very fortunate to, to, to have a third. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be 10-year anniversary since we lost Paul. Um, he meant a lot to so many. He meant a lot to, to myself, of course, being the the youngest brother in the family. We were 15 years apart, so it had a huge impact on me. Mm -hmm. um, he was also Paul William Walker the fourth. So that name goes back four generations in my family. Um, Paul didn't get to have, Paul, Paul had a, a, a beautiful daughter, um, mm -hmm. but he didn't have a son. And I'm done having kids. I'm three and out. <laughs> my brother Caleb is done with done having, having kids. And I just felt the time was appropriate, um, you know, and, uh, a piece of him that he left behind is, of course, his charity Reach Out Worldwide that we do support through Fuel Fest. A portion of the funds of every show goes to his charity Reach Out Worldwide. And we've raised over $300,000 for his charity um, through Fuel Fest to date. And we're very, very proud of that. And um, it's just, it's awesome to see it continue to live on and thrive 10 years, almost 10 years after his passing. Yeah, well, that's really special and really touching to hear. Yeah. Thank you so much for being on with us. Fuel Fest heads to Irwindale Speedway next Saturday, June 3rd. Gates open at 2. Visit FuelFest.com for tickets and details. And Cody, we'll see you next weekend. <laughs> we'll see you there. Thank you so much. Thanks. That's awesome. That uh, awesome. And again, just want to emphasize, you know, Southern California, we love our cars here. Mm -hmm. We get it. I understand it. But there's a safe way to do it. And events like that is, is awesome. All right. Yeah. You can, you know, get it all out at the Speedway. Yeah, I agree with you, though. You know? That is a really cool event.